What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are playing with a Pokemon that I've been wanting to showcase on this channel for a while now. Ever since Series 10 has been released, I've been looking for a Dialga team and today we finally have one here. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, join the community and help me hit 10,000 subscribers. But before we get started with the team showcase, I want to give a huge shout out to my people over at Into the AM. If you guys do not know what Into the AM is, it is a men's clothing brand who is sponsored with me. And seriously, their products are amazing. They actually just sent me a few new items today. So I'm going to be showcasing them off real quick. I got this cool beach break shirt right here one of my favorite ones i have i'm gonna stand up real quick you guys might not be able to hear me as well but yo look at that shirt yo look at this shirt bro looking real spiffy it's looking real spiffy they also sent me nice little basic tees nice little navy blue nice little olive tank top you guys probably seen me wearing some of them before and we got another basic black tee over here seriously yo their product super comfortable i absolutely love it i wear it all the time when i'm going out with the boys sunday night football i watch it anytime I'm going out we're just chilling out and about at the house even to the gym i wear this stuff it's so comfortable such high quality it makes you feel cool like not like cool wise but it makes you feel like cool like uh like cold wise <laughs> so their product's amazing definitely go check them out there's a link down in my description below if you want to get 10 percent off you can use that link or just use my code jeans at checkout but getting started with this team we have dialga over here top left corner like i said pokemon i want to show off for a very long time now absolutely love this guy and since diamond and pearl remakes are coming out it just gets me more excited to use this pokemon we got pressure adamant orb which is an item that boosts his uh damage over here we got protect Draco Meteor, Flash Cannon, Blitz for Stab, and Earth Power for our coverage move. Right next to him is the one and only Ditto. Been using this Pokemon a lot on the rank ladder as of recently. Like the last couple of videos, we've been using Ditto. He's just so much fun. He's awesome to use around, and he's great actually countering like any Pokemon because you can just transform into him and get after it from there. We got the Focus Sash and Imposter Ability. That's all you really need to know about Ditto. Middle left, we got Thunderous over here, Prankster ability, Citrus Berry rocking on him as well. We got Protect, Thunderbolt, Scary Face drop speed, and Eerie Impulse to drop special attack. I really love the Prankster Thunderous. I think I like him better than attacking Thunderous. I just think he's more viable and he's just better off. So, really like this Pokemon, you're going to be seeing him a lot and seeing us control battles with him. Right next to him, we got Entei over here with the Inner Focus and the Soul Fest, Sacred Fire, Extreme Speed for first turn priority, Snarl for special attack drop, and Stone Edge for our hard hitting coverage move. Bottom left over here, we got the one and only Whimsy. Whimsy Poo over here, I don't know why I call it that, but I love calling it Whimsy Poo, is our Tailwind Pokemon. Protect, Encore, Tailwind, and Moonblast for the moveset. Mental Herb so we can't be taunted, and then the Prankster ability so we get first turn priority. Final Pokemon on this team is super off meta. We got the Quagsire over here. I think I used this Pokemon maybe like once on the rank ladder before. So this guy's going to be fun to use. Try to get some wins with this guy. We got Protect, Scald for Stab, Counter to do big physical damage on physical attacking Pokemon that hit up on us. Because we counter that and double the damage. And then we got Recover to get some HP back. We also have the Leftovers to get a little bit more HP at the end of every single turn. And Unaware for our ability. Guys, you want to try out this rental code? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Series 10 Dialga team. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into battle number one. And I'm pretty excited for this one, considering we're going up against a little bit of an off-meta team right here. He's got Shinonic, Sogaleo, Milotic, Entei, Grimmsnarl, and Landers, the other form with Intimidate that was used a lot in last season. We're not really seeing it a lot in this season, but this is like one of the first times we've seen it. So, gonna be cool, gonna be a fun battle. I think I gotta lead the Wimscott and take speed control early on. Uh, Shinonic does have Spore on it, so I might, might have to watch out for that one. I'm probably going to bring Entei as well. I got to watch out for that Milotic with the competitive. I don't want to bring Thunders here too. Thunders isn't bad. I'm definitely going to bring Entei here because if he leaves the Landers, then Inner Focus is just going to pop. Dialga is a must. An absolute must. Absolutely love this guy. And then final Pokemon, I'm thinking... I think it's Thunders or Ditto. Really work out well. I'm trying to think. Milotic special attacking, but can't really drop stats. Actually, Thunders isn't really that good. I think it's Ditto. Ditto or Quagsires. Um, hmm. What would Jeans like to do here? Should I give Quagsire a little love? A little bit of love for the Quagsire? Do dig it. Let's do it, yo. Let's do it. Let's roll after it. Let's roll after it with the Quagsire. Try to get him in there and grab ourselves a win. But yo, this shirt right here it was legit sent to me like 10 minutes before I started recording. And it is fire, yo. It's legit a skeleton on a surfboard. 
riding a giant wave. I don't know if you guys can really see it too well, but it's pretty sick, dude. It's pretty sick. If you guys want to definitely get a look at their graphic tees, head to their website. Like I said, link is down in the description below. Also, give you 10% off, or you can just use the code jeans at checkout. But yeah, their graphic tees are phenomenal. Like, I love all their graphic tees. And it's not like Nike or Adidas where, like, everybody's wearing it. It's its own brand it's like an own smaller brand so it feels like it's my own style so absolutely love the product absolutely love the quality and the designs on like i said i think they have like one of the best graphic keys in the game they go ente and solgaleo and we go ente and our wind scott so i could just pop a tailwind i think tailwind might be a must here pop a tailwind and i'm thinking he's going to protect i really do so i might just go stone engine to him but i think solgaleo might protect here we could just go for a steel strike and i might just uh pose this big fire threat onto him that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Throw his fire. He's gonna end up withdrawing. I know I should have Stone Edge, man. I know I should have Stone Edge. He's gonna hard swap into Milo. Milo, Milo, Milo. Coming out here, Tailwind's gonna pop. Maybe we get a ball off a burn. Burn could be lovely. This lovely burn onto a, a water dragon, a water eel, whatever you are. That would be beautiful. Give it to me. Chill with me, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Second fire is definitely gonna take out 1Z all day, but it's all good. We got off the lovely tailwind, just what I want. So we get off the lovely tailwind. Could bring out Quagsire if I really want to. Could do it. Or, or I can bring out the boy, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring out the boy here. Bring out my lovely Dialga. Lovely little Dialga. So, I think what I can do from there, I can't snarl. You know that. Flash hands not very effective on both. I think I'm just going to EP and then just Stone Edge. Double down. Double down into the Sente slot. See if I get rid of him. So we apply stone. It's gonna pop. Bink! Getting some big damage. And I think EP should be able to clean this one up just fine. Right? EP's coming in hot. Clean this one up just fine. Yes, sir. Entei out the game. And I think Milotic might just drop a skull. Something along those lines. Get after my Entei. It's gonna recover. I'm with it all day. Big waste of a recover turn. Thinking we're going after you. I'm with it. I'm with it, so we know this thing's popping with recover. We got the burn on that thing, so that's just gonna slowly chip away from it. Help us out a little bit. And I just gotta remember not to go into like a snarl or something. <laughs> Cause I know I will eventually do that. He's gonna throw out the Lando. Intimidate's gonna pop, we're in our focus, and my Diago special attacking, so I really do like that turn. And trying to think what I what I should do here. The pop a stone edge. I could flash cannon. We do that same exact thing. I'm thinking it's just doubling down into it. There's no way he protects, right? I think we just double down into this Pokemon again. If Milotic wants to come in hot with like a, a water move, we can only swap next turn. He does protect. You son of a biscuit, man. Let's sing out of here. The second fire is going to pop. Block. And then Flash Cannon is also going to get blocked. Dang, man. I really did not think he was going to uh, protect there. This thing's going to start to coil up. Okay. So with that thing coiling up, I'm trying to think of what we can do here. He's going to boost his special defense. Oh no, it's regular defense, so my Dialga can still start chip chipping away for that. But I might have to just start getting after that way. I start dropping Draco Meteor, sir. I think I just start Earth Powering off that. Just Sacred Fire here. Maybe get a burn off on this thing as well. Because I'm going to need my Dialga to take out that Milotic. So if we can bring it down to like a decently low level. Or low HP, I could just drink a meteor or finish it off. Here comes my EP. How much damage are we gonna do on this thing? This thing is pretty bulky. None of a biscuit. I, double, I might double down into it this turn. EP's gonna come out here, and we're gonna be able to eat that up with that lovely assault vest. And Muddy Water's gonna fly through here, and we should still be able to eat that up pretty decent here. And I'm thinking of just double down into that Milotic hard here. And getting rid of it. That might be my play here. Just to get rid of that Pokemon. I think Tailwind's gone. Yeah, Tailwind is gone. But I said we just double down into that thing. We go here and we go into a nice, lovely little Stone Edge. This one's going to be a solid battle. We go Stone Edge? Yeah, I think Stone Edge is going to be our play. And if I can swap the Dialga after this, after we get the special attack drop, that could be even a bigger play for us. Stone Edge is going to pop here. We're doubling down into this thing. I need to get rid of this Pokemon here. Stone Edge isn't doing as much damage as I wanted to. And if he gets the flinch, I'm going to cry a little bit. Entei is going to drop. And I cannot swap Dialga after this. Tough news. Tough news not being able to swap Dialga. But I really need Dialga to drop this Milotic here. I really need him dropping here. Here's Stab. It's Draco Meteor. We have the Adamant Orb. Get this thing out of my face. Do him dirty. Let's go, dude. I love Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor is so good. It is so good, but it drops your special attack. It's so hard. Super, super hard. 
We get rid of that Pokemon. I do have the one and only man out here. Have the one and only Pokemon out here. I have nice little Quags out here. And he's going to throw out his final Pokemon, who is going to be so Galio. Okay, we already knew that. We already knew that thing. And I think could be weakness policy. I'm only trying to think of what I should do here. I'm going to double down into you. And then I could have actually countered onto Solgaleo. Counter could be big for us here. No way he does this again to us. No shot he does this again to us. Okay, he double protects. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. So he's double protecting here. Um, hmm. I was going to say, no way he double protects on us again. And then uh, gets off a shot with his other Pokemon. So I'm with just doing the same thing, right? I'm with doing that exact same thing. Let's do it. So they're both physical attackers, so that's gonna work well for my Quagsire. Rockside's gonna pop here, and I swear, yo, if you get the flinches on me, I'm gonna cry a little bit. I'm gonna cry a little bit. That's easy eats for both my Pokemon, but he is really looking for the flinches here. Those combat's gonna pop. That's probably gonna take me out, right? Yeah, so that takes me out. That drops his defense. And Skull to actually pick up a KO here. It might be able to. It's gonna be pushing it close here. It's gonna be pushing it close here. Come on, Skull, Deku. Come on, Skull. Do some damage. Do some damage. Mom. Oh, are you kidding me? Give me the burn, at least. Give me the burn. Show it to me. That thing really just got a free focus, Ash. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Okay, so my plan here is going to be... I might counter up onto the Solgaleo slot. Where do I Scald and take out? I think he might protect him. I'm going to counter up onto Solgaleo. I'm going to counter here. I think he's going to protect his, uh, yep. There's a protect out from him. So I am going to counter. This thing hits me with the close combat or something that could be big. There's close combat. So we're going to be able to double damage over to him. So this might actually pick up a KO here. I don't think defense drop really matters here. The counter is going to rock out here. And counter take this thing out. Counter comes through. Coming in hot. Take him out. What yo? What's this game? What what is this game, bro? What is it, yo? Two free focus sashes? I can't do it. I can't do this. Bro, what? What is going on? What is going on? Bro, we put both of them on one HP. We're playing so well with the Quagsire. Like, dude, we should have won this one. What you mean? <laughs> okay, um. Bruh. Yo, get out my face, yo. Who do I take out here? Um. I think this Solgaleo poses the bigger threat, right? I take out Solgaleo here. EP comes out from him. That's so whack. That is so whack. We're gonna lose this game. That is so whack, bro. Are you kidding me? This dude is the luckiest guy ever. I outplayed him with Quagsire. 10 out of 10. Read and protects. Hitting him hard with Pokemon left and right. And this is what happens to us. And this is what happens to us. Two free focus ashes, and we end up losing battle number one. How did we lose that first battle? We legit put two Pokemon on one HP. It's like they had a free focus ash. That just blows my mind. Like, what are the odds? We scald up on that Landorus, put him on one. Then we made that hard read of the Protect on the Landorus and counter up on the Solgaleo and put that thing on one HP. Like, bro, they both should have been dead and we should have won that battle. But it's all good. We're hopping into our second battle here. Looking for our first win. This guy is a pretty strong Shadow Rider Calyrex team with the Serena over here. Definitely got to watch out for that. He also has his tech terrain with that Indeedee. Got to watch out for that as well because they go into expanding forces with the Calyrex or the Indeedee. So it's a very powerful combo there. Then he has the Mimikyu, the Shuckle, which I'm kind of scared of. Shuckle is such a cool Pokemon. And Primarina. And Primarina, who I'm less scared of because I don't think that Pokemon is all that good. But it's still decent Pokemon all around. But uh, do I lead Dialga? I don't want to lead Thunderous. Mm, actually, I don't want to lead Thunderous. I don't even want to bring Thunderous, considering he has the Psychic Terrain and the, uh, and the what's it called? And the uh, Serene over there. But I'm actually going to lead Entei for a Snarl. I think Wind's got here. Bring Dialga, and then final Pokemon could be Ditto. I'm with it. I'm with it. Okay. All right. Let's run it. Let's run it. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I'm all about that smoke. Because Entei's an absolute beast. If he leaves that Calyrex combo, 
we should be sitting pretty here because I have that assault vest. I can soak up shots. I can get off a nice, lovely little tailwind early on into the match. And I can go with the snarl. Snarl will be super effective on both of them if they do lead that combo. But we should just see who he leads first. Let's see who his lead is. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it, man. Okay, I'm cool with it, though. Shuckle and Mimi, 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 man ray <laughs> and mimic you okay uh could drop a nice lovely stone edge i don't want to do it could drop a sacred fire um i think i'm just stone edging right here i mean and not even uh you could drop a trick room that could be a play so i might just uh hit this mimic and not set up my tailwind just yet and see where we go from here so moon blast is going to pop here nice lovely moon blast let's see what he does from here so we take off the disguise I haven't seen a Mimikyu on doubles in a while. This one's pretty cool. Let me take off this, guys. I do not want to set up Tailwind yet, just in case the Trick Room is out and about, you know? Nothing good to be scary. Stone Edge is popping. We got a crit on the Shuckle. Shuckle's a beast, dude. A beast. A powerhouse. He is going to power train. This dude's nuts. Look at this dude. Look at this dude go. He switches attack and defense. Now he's going to be able to hit hard after Trick Room. Okay. So, that said, that said, he, he, want, he wants to play games with me? Is that how he's coming? Is that how he's coming? Yeah, do me a favor, Shuckle. Do me a favor. And do that again. Please, I'm giving you an encore here. Do that again. He just thought, he just thought, hey, yo, I'm just gonna trick him here. Oh, now, oh, now he's baby dialing. That's cool. That's cool. He's gonna boost attack, but do me a favor here. Do me a favor here. What are you gonna do with that attack boost? Nothing. You're going to do nothing. <laughs> you are going to do nothing. You're doing nothing with that. Now, Mimikyu. Come here. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Take this. Get a burn on you. Get a burn. Yeah, get a burn, baby. Get a burn. Get a burn. Okay, so now with all that out and about, I can just drop a free stone edge here. I'm going to drop a lovely moon blast. I might double down into shucks. I am going to double down to Shuckle Slot because I could see a huge swap coming out from him. Yeah, yo. Totally outplayed him there. Totally did him dirty. He's like, yeah, I'm just going to Trick Room and then swap my attack stats here. And then I'll be outspeeding and then I could be able to do some big damage. But we said, nah, yo. We said, do that again. Please. How long is he Encored for? Did I have Encored him again? Yo, get that guy out of my game. Absolutely dominated him in battle number two. Just outplayed him so hard. He went into the trick room. That was his one big combo he was going for for the shuckle. We ended up encoring him, and he got so bad, he just canceled the battle. So solid first battle. Amazing second battle, making that dude quit and just outplaying him completely. And now we're sitting in our third battle, and we're looking for that winning record for you guys. So let's get after this one. Going up against yet another Shadow Rider Calyrex team with another uh, Psychic Terrain user with Tapu Lele. So I might just go into the same combo here. I kind of do think the combo, the inner focus will work up against the My Shell as well. And same thing with that uh, Rillaboom. So fake outs cannot happen on that. So I'm digging that turn. Definitely want to bring Dialga because we love Dialga. Dialga is awesome. <laughs> and then final Pokemon. Um, I really want to bring Thunderous, but at the same time, if the Psychic Terrain's out, we have no way of changing it. And then my Eerie Impulses and the other things won't work. So I think Ditto. I think we give Ditto a little bit of love in here. Ditto, come on down, baby. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. But yo, dude, that last battle... At first, I was just like, okay, let's not Tailwind because he could potentially trick him with the Mimikyu, and that's exactly what he did. And then he power split, and then I was kind of confused. I was just like, okay, he thinks he has speed, and he swapped his defense with attack, so his attack's pretty high. I was just like, wait a minute, I have Encore. Let me make him do that again, just so we can't get off attack move. So we did that. We ended up getting a burn on the Mimikyu, and we just rolled out from there. We're like, we were going to win that battle regardless, but he just canceled it and saved some time for us. But let's see what he goes into. We go into the horse and my shell, which, okay, I'm totally cool with that. That's a free snarl up on my, uh, that's a free snarl up on with Entei because you can't fake me out, and I just protect him. So let's, let's do it, because that will take off Sash and do some big damage onto the Calyrex alongside with getting that special attack drop on him as well. And I'm guessing the my shell was Sash. If I, if I had to guess, right? So I can protect, I can tail my next turn, I can potentially drop a Moon Blast. I can do a lot here. Beans can do a lot. So, we're going to see how this one goes. But, dude, we should be 2-0. and I'm so upset at that first battle, man. Just really want that clutch up with the Quagsire. Would have been real cool. Would have been really cool. Show off the power of that Pokemon. 
That's something I love to do. It's just like, it's just use off meta Pokemon and pick up. Astro Barrage is going to bust through here. We're gonna block here. Entei should be able to eat up just fine. I'm kind of with this all day. There goes this. Entei says, yeah, let's take this out. Because we have our Soul Vessel on as well. We have our best. And this thing shows his orb. That's a lovely little turn snarl. It's going to pop out here. I really, really dig. So there's that. And do I tail one here? That's a real question. That's a real question. Do I tail one? They kind of just snarling and moon blasting. And then tail winning next turn. I don't think that my shout out speeds my Wimscott. And if my Wimscott gets off this moon blast, I think it should go down in one shot. So I'm with this turn instead of tail winning. And then tail winning next turn. So he's going to end up withdrawing. But then who's he going to go into? So I do really do this turn. He can go into Entei. Done with that. And Detect is going to pop out from here. Okay. Um. So I think I have to tail in here. Considering Sacred Fire can fly through. Right? The Snarl will still come up against this Entei. And I, I'm with that. I guess we can get off a little bit of damage. But yeah, like I said, I have to tail in here. I have to do a lovely little tail in here. And then do I, I think I just drop a big old Stone Edge over into the Stone Edge, and then I just set up my tail. Because I don't want that Sacred Fire just coming in here, taking me out, and then my Wim Scott being dead without even getting off the tail. So, not bad here. He's going to end up withdrawing you. Okay, yo, I'm, I'm digging the turn a lot. I'm digging the turn a lot. He's going to end up throwing out the Shadow Rider Kylox. going to come out and about. And, like I said, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with this turn. I'm cool with it all day. Because now we have Tailwind. A lot of my Pokemon should be able to outspeed the Kylox now. Stone Edge should be able to do a decent amount of damage onto this lovely little Entei here. It does connect. Can we get a crit on that? That would be beautiful. No crit, but some nice big damage. And Stone Edge is going to go back on my side, which is going to take on my Entei. And he gets a crit on his. You can just tell by how fast it dropped, right? No, we did not get a crit. Just looks like it dropped a lot faster. It's all good. Um, could bring out Ditto and... And change into a Shadow. I could... <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's have some fun here. I was just gonna go into Dialga and do that play, but nah, yo. We have the chance to chase it to a Shadow Rider Kylox. I'm definitely gonna take it. Your boy's definitely gonna take it. Win or lose here. We now have two abilities. Give me your berries. <laughs> Nobody can eat berries here. We got a lovely little Astro Barrage. And we do have speed. We do have some big old speed here. And I can just protect Whimsicott. And yo, we have abilities. We have abilities. We have abilities, bro. Ditto! Ditto, do him dirty! Ditto, do him dirty, man. If Ditto can pick up the KO here, that's huge. Do him dirty, Ditto. Astral Barrage on a Ditto. Yo, please take out the Sente. Give me, give me my, uh, my Grim Neighbors. Ditto. Ditto. Yo, dude, it's over with. It's over with, bro. It's over. Plus one, we have Tailwind. Dude, it's over with. You're dead next turn, Calyrex. And we're going to be able to do big damage onto the next Pokemon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a wrap. Winning record for your boy. I'm going to call it now. I'm going to call it now. He can't even fake me out. He can only fake out my Whimsicott. But it's all good. Your Shadow Rider's dead. He's in the dump. Get him out of my game. We don't want him here. We don't want him here. Astro Barrage. Get after it. What are we going to do here? I could hard swap. But again, there's, there's no need. There's no need. Let's just go in here. Dun, 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 dun. Grassy guy is going to fly. We are going to be able to eat all day because we have a focus ash anyway. Astro Barrage popping. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Our main man, Alex. Not even Calyx. Our main man, Ditto. Ditto is popping. The sash just works so well on Ditto, too. So they can't, like, get off one shots and really take you out when you get control like that. But Moonblast is going to come out here. Pick up the KO. Is that game? Or does he have one more left? I'm trying to think. No, I think he has one more. The hard swap the who do hard swap? The my shell. It's just my shell. <laughs> it's over. Wrap it up. Get this dude out of here. Cause one moon bus to take that thing out. What are you gonna do fake me out? Then I'm just dropping that plus two Astro Barrage for my Ditto. Or even better. Plus two expanding force. No, we want Ditto to do the work. We want Ditto to win this battle for So hopefully it doesn't cancel. He does cancel. It's all good. Two and one for today's video. Dominate it.
Honestly, had a blast playing this team on the rank ladder today. The first battle was awesome. We got to show off the Dialga a little bit in that battle. Didn't get to show him off in the second or third battle, but still, you guys already know what he does. He's a steel and dragon type. He's the heart and soul of this team. He hits hard all around, and he's a great Pokemon in every single category. But like I said, that first battle, we got to show off a decent amount of Pokemon. Almost won that one, but Quagsire did not clutch up because of two HP, one on the laners and one on the uh, Solgaleo. Yeah, that was Pokemon. But second battle, we outplayed our opponent going into Encores, outplaying him with the uh, Shuckle and the Mimikyu, grabbing ourselves a win in a quick cancel battle there. And then that third and final battle, we dittoed at the perfect time, dittoed his Shadow Rider Calyx, and dominated that last battle. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.